you expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In you, Jesus, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Jesus, O eternal sweetness, incomprehensible mystery, I give my heart unto you, O Lord. Use it in this world to touch many lives. I pray, O Lord, that a flood of mercy flow through me. Touch the lives of many of your children around me. Help me to love all your children with a burning love. May I be a spark of your mercy every moment of my life. Amen. Dear beloved of Christ, I welcome you to our today's meditation on St. Faustina's Diary, The Divine Mercy in My Soul. And today we read and listen in to diary number 1148. I read, We resemble God most when we forgive our neighbors. God is love, goodness, and mercy. Every soul, and especially the soul of every religious, should reflect my mercy. My heart overflows with compassion and mercy for all. The heart of my beloved must resemble mine. From her heart must spring a fountain of my mercy for souls. Otherwise, I will not acknowledge her as mine. I invite you to meditate with me on our theme of reflection today. The heart of my beloved must resemble mine. From her heart must spring the fount of my mercy for souls, Jesus tells each one of us. Dear beloved of Christ, I invite you to have a moment to think deeply about the mystery of a heart. What comes out of the heart is what the world around us experiences. Out of the heart of Jesus flows mercy, goodness, and love. And so he is. And today he reminds us that if we are his own, our hearts ought to resemble his. What comes out of a human heart completely affects my everyday moment. If deep in my heart I have peace, the world will say, Hmm, sister is a very peaceful lady. And so the world will experience peace because deep within my heart there was deep peace. And so I radiate it. If deep in my heart there is jealousy, there is envy, the world around me will experience these bitter pills of envy and jealousy. And so you hear people say, mm -mm -mm, she's a very envious woman. But nobody has touched it. It is streaming from what is deeply seated in my heart. Somebody who is swimming in the fullness of joy of Christ spreads a smile around. Such a soul melts mountains of ice when all is tensed. Because 
her smile, her joy is a therapy to that. Dear beloved of Christ, I've mentioned a few of them. I invite you to think about a heart. What is in our hearts is what is radiated out and that's what the world will experience and the world is very fast usually to name it out and apportion it to such a person. I invite you dear beloved of Christ today in our meditation to have a moment with God, speak heart to heart with Him, openly face yourself, I face myself, what is that that has made my heart not resemble the heart of God? What is that that holds me not to be such a spark of love and mercy to reflect my beloved in this world? Our question of meditation today can only help a soul that is open, a soul that speaks heart to heart with his or her creator and opens up fully. Maybe in my heart, I am never praised when I see somebody rejoicing, when I see somebody successful, and I fought this silent battle. But the Lord asks us today to surrender those dark spots of our lives and ask him to touch our hearts and make it like his own. Am I this kind that is blinded? I've even failed to see those spots on my heart that tarnish my day-to-day -day experience and encounter with the world. Do I need the help of the Holy Spirit at this moment of my life to deeply meditate on the state of my heart, the state of my soul? The Lord Jesus tells us in our today's meditation that our hearts ought to resemble His. It's only then that we shall be turned into a fountain of mercy, of love, of grace. I want to pray for myself and for each one of us to have the courage to expose fully the secrets of my heart where nobody can see to the Lord of my life. Sit with Him and sincerely ask Him for the graces to let go of those dark spots that has held our hearts for long to resemble the heart of our Creator and to ask Him for the grace to totally surrender unto His cares and trust in His mercy and love. And this is my prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.